Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a rolling release Linux distribution called Chaos. Chaos is an independent Linux distribution. It uses the KDE desktop environment and the Qt toolkit. I'm on their uh, their web page here, reading their about page. See K Chaos. For the desktop environment, there will never be a change. It will always use the KDE Plasma desktop, the Qt toolkit. Every package and every repository is built by and for Chaos. So, you know, it's an independent distro. They're not basing this distro on somebody else. They're doing their own thing. Although I think originally, in the early days of Chaos, they did base the distro off of Arch. Okay, I've downloaded the ISO file. Uh, it was 1.7 gigs in size. Uh, I'm going to be installing Chaos in a virtual machine, in VirtualBox in my case. So, we're going to wait for this to, to boot up here. And I actually paused the recording there for about 20 seconds. It's, it's taking quite a long time for this ISO to boot up. Again, this is a live environment. We haven't actually installed anything to to physical hardware so it always takes a lot longer for these live environments to load once we have it installed chaos I'm sure is going to run much faster alright and we've come to our little greeter here and we have options for install chaos about and probably you know information from their website guide package list a link to their forms and a link to documentation and we have a little live environment we could play around with. It looks like, you know, the KDE desktop environment, they have set the uh, panel to the right side of the screen, which is interesting. If you're going to set the panel to one side of the screen or the other, in Western culture in, in particular, the left side makes a lot more sense because everything starts on the left side of the screen. You write left to right. Uh, so it's strange that they're going on on the right side of the screen for the panel, but uh, I'll ignore that for now. It's easy enough to, to move the panels around in KDE, so that's not too big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead and click Install Chaos to get the installer going. I think they're going to use the uh, Calamares uh, installer, which is a fine install program. Yeah, yeah, it's very familiar installer. I've seen it a number of times now in these reviews I've done. So. Uh, welcome. Asked about language. English US has already been chosen, so that's correct. And then we have release notes. If I wanted to read this, I'm not too interested in re reading the release notes right now. It has correctly chosen my time zone, which is the central time zone here in the US. So I'm going to click next. English US is the keyboard layout. I can type something to test it out the keyboard is functioning as expected so I'm gonna click next then partitions this is a virtual machine so I don't have to do any kind of manual partitioning if you guys are dual booting you may have to set up some partitions say if you're dual booting with Windows or maybe even another Linux distro uh, because this is a virtual machine I'm just gonna give chaos the entire 15 gigabytes of disk on this virtual machine so I'm gonna choose a race disk and it looks like by default it is going to give Chaos the entire 15 gig disk and it's going to set up an XFS file system that's an interesting choice but I'm going to go with it I'm going to click next now we need to choose a username I'm just going to choose Chaos I'm going to be simple and I'm going to choose a simple password that the Calamares installer is going to warn me about log in automatically without asking for a password I never tick that on use the same password for the administrator account I could type a different password here for the administrator but I'm just gonna use the the same alright then we have our little summary screen which basically reviews all the selections we've already made location keyboard partitioning you, you need to review that make sure everything is correct because there's no coming back from it, especially once you start formatting the hard, hard drive. Also, you want to make sure language and keyboard, especially keyboard settings, are correct. Uh, if you want to experience a really difficult time in Linux, accidentally set your keyboard to something other than English US 
if you're an American and uh, see how well that works out for you. Anyway, I'm going to click next and it warns me that it's about to format the drive. I'm going to click install now and the installer will run. It will probably run 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video until the install is done. Okay guys, the installer is finished running. That took, I don't know, six, maybe eight minutes. It was a pretty fast install for being 1.7 gigs and, you know, uh, installing a full KDE desktop environment. So when you're done with the installer, you need to choose Restart Now. You need to click this on, click Done, and reboot the machine. That's what I'm going to do right now. And we are rebooting our newly installed Chaos Linux. This should load a bit faster now. And we still wait for the KDE desktop environment to load up. All right, we've got to our login manager. So my username that I'd suggest uh, picked was chaos. I think it's already selected that. I just need to type the password. Login failed. Is that not the password I had chosen? Mm, I guess not. Let me try that one more time. Yeah. And we wait for the KDE desktop environment to load. This could take a few seconds. And here we are inside the KDE desktop environment. And we get a little greeter here when the system la launches. You see we have this ticked on, run on system startup. I will probably, after reading this this one time, tick this off so it never appears again. But it's just a, a welcome to the chaos screen here. I'm going to close that. And I think for this review, I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to go through the uh, menu and show you what is installed by default in chaos so I'm gonna go up here to the application menu and under development we have compare and we have some uh, cute toolkit stuff like the cute assistant cute designer cute linguist under education we have a science subcategory and in that we have KDE marble and marble not exactly sure what those are I'm not a scientist I'm gonna launch this and see what it is oh it's a globe it's like a virtual globe once it finally loads. Yep, uh, pretty cool. All right, so back to the menu under games. We have card games. We just have one game, K Patience. Under graphics, we have Gwenview, Carbon, Kiragami Gallery, Krita, and Ocular, which is KDE's uh, document viewer. All right, under Internet. We have something called Fat Rat. I'm actually not sure what that is. I'm going to launch that and check that out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what Fat Rat is. Does it have an About page? Let me see. Ah, it's a Download Manager. Okay, pretty cool. Version 1.2, Beta 2. So, probably hasn't been around long. Uh, also, under Internet, we have our Instant Messenger contacts. We have uh, some KDE apps like the Connect application, the IM Log Viewer. We have Quassel, which is KDE's IRC chat client. We have Cupzilla, CFile. Wow, and we have Skype installed by default. You don't see Skype installed by default on too many Linux distros, mainly because Skype is not an open source uh, software project. You know, it's proprietary, closed source. You know, it's owned by Microsoft. Under Multimedia, we have Babe. I'm not sure what Babe is. Let me launch that. And it looks like it's some kind of multimedia player. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's got songs, albums, artists, playlists down here. So it looks pretty neat. Also under multimedia, we have the K3B disc burning utility, which is fantastic. Uh, probably the best disc burning utility available for Linux. Camoso. We have the MPV media, uh, media player. Simple screen recorder. And that's an interesting one to also install on the ISO by default. SM Player and SM Tube. Under Office, we have Caligra, 
the sheets. We have Caligra Words, Carbon, Ocular again, Plan. I'm not sure what Plan is. I'm sure it's some kind of organizer, daily planner. Yep. Oh, pretty cool stuff there. Settings. We have our system settings. If I launch that, will be your standard system settings you see in other distros that use KDE. So we'll come back to this in just a second. Under system, we have the Dolphin File Manager, which is a fantastic file manager. It's uh, probably my favorite part about KDE is the Dolphin File Manager. Uh, I just love Dolphin. Also, we have the Info Center. We have a ISO Writer, K3B, the disk burner again, KDE's Partition Manager. We have Console with a K, which is KDE's Terminal. Uh, a very nice terminal application console is. Uh, we also have some other KDE applications like KSysGuard, KWallet Manager, Octopi. Now this is for adding and removing software. So Octopi is a pretty cool software program. Let's see what else we had under system. We have our Pac-Man Log Viewer, so they appear to be using Pac-Man. Uh, Chaos again started life I think originally uh, but being based on Arch so that's why you see a lot of familiar things you see in Arch and other Arch based distros and rounding out the uh, system tools we have K Photo Rec and then the uh, Yaku Aki I'm not exactly sure what that is uh, how to pronounce it that is I know it's a drop down terminal a pretty cool drop down terminal application uh, utilities, we have our ARC uh, archive manager, you know, for zip and unzip. We have our HP device manager for printers. We have Captain, we have Kate. Kate is KDE's text editor. Really nice little text editor. Let's see, under utilities, anything else of note? Not really. KWrite, Vim. I mean, Vim is pretty much on every Linux distro, so no big surprise there. And then we have uh, our power and session settings here. All right, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to system settings, and uh, let's check out the themes that are installed by default. All right, by default we are using something called Midna. Now it also comes with another another theme called Midna Dark. Let me see how this one looks. Okay that actually looks pretty nice. I, I tend to like dark themes so the mid and the dark is, is not bad uh, and then we have our standard KDE themes like Breeze which is a really nice theme and we also have Breeze Dark which is a pretty sexy dark theme so I'm probably going to just keep the uh, Breeze Dark theme. I really like the Breeze Dark theme for KDE uh, under colors we have options for changing some coloring fonts we can change the fonts of the system icons icon themes we have the breeze icon theme we have the Midna icon themes and oxygen of course under desktop behavior we have options for uh, desktop effects screen edging uh, touch screen if this was touch screen it's not uh, virtual desktops and so forth we have some window management options. And we have startup and shutdown. We can also set up our auto start programs, you know, what programs you want to launch when KDE first loads. And you have some other personalization settings, some network settings, uh, hardware settings. You have input devices, display monitor, power management, printers, and so forth. And the last thing I'm going to do on this video, uh, since I know it started life as an Arch-based distro and it uses the Pac-Man package manager, I'm just going to go ahead and run a simple uh, update here, just to verify that it is in fact using Pac-Man. It is. So, and it looks like I can actually go ahead and upgrade quite a few things here. So I'm going to let that run. But while that's running, I will just go ahead and, and wrap this video up. As far as my initial impressions on the install and the review of Chaos, the install is what you expect with the uh, Calamares installer. 
very simple, very fast. You know, three or four mouse clicks and you're done. Um, less than 10 minutes for an install. Easy install. The Chaos OS, KDE desktop environment. Everybody loves KDE. Very clean, very powerful, very uh, configurable desktop too. And that's something if I were to use Chaos, I probably would change quite a bit from their default uh, layout here. Um, Chaos is simple enough that a new Linux user would have no problem installing it, but I think like 90% of new Linux users that installed K Chaos would probably hate this panel on the right side. It makes no sense to put a panel on the right side of a screen. Again, for most Western computer users, everything originates really on the left side of your computer screen. You write left to right. Uh, everything, you know, think about mouse travel. How much time is the mouse on the left side of your screen normally when you're working? How much time is the mouse on your, the right side of your screen when you're doing any kind of work? Big difference. Really, if you're going to have the side panel, you need to have it on the left side rather than the right, or go the more traditional route, route and put the panel either at the top or the bottom of the screen. But again, that's a, a small annoyance with me because we just right click here and change panel options and we can move that panel wherever we want to move it so I won't harp on that too much overall though uh, chaos looks like it's a pretty sharp independent distro it's not based on arch they're building their own packages which I admire them for that so give chaos a try guys peace